guys, we are back with round four, and it wouldn't be a Cardiff uh, event if we didn't have an obligatory Sammy Nash match. Of course. And he will be on the wall pile today, so oh. back back to his four colour roots. And uh, he will be against Dan Preston on his typical Ice Wind Storm. He just likes the confidence that it brings him that he knows it inside and out. That's right. I mean, it's uh, tried and tested for Dan Preston. It's definitely like his most prolific deck. Uh, yeah, exactly that. And we're going to just a quick Moogle 11 just to start yeah. proceedings. T typical Storm card at the moment because you love that search of card out of your deck. I'll pair it up with Choco Morgan, you're laughing really. I mean, that pretty much to, becomes a Thordan out yeah, of elements. Exactly. Now, looking at the list, what's interesting with the Dan Preston's list is that he does actually now play the new Citra in there. It's so good for Storm. I mean, it's just two extra casts. Yeah. I mean, and, uh, you know, you cast two and then play Citra to get an Alexander out of the deck. You, you know, you're really ahead on advantage. Yeah, exactly. And it is only a one-off, but again, you don't want it to clog your hand too badly. I think um, one is plenty. One is plenty for this. So, yeah. Sammy Nudge coming in with uh, turn one Tyro. I mean... Will he be doing the tried and tested play of then following up the bash? Oh, no. That, that I mean, screams to me he's got a Cecil in hand. Oh, yeah, definitely. And unless Dan does something about that, he could be in trouble next turn. But I think we're just going to stick with the game plan, though. Okay, yeah, Evray starting proceedings. Cast one. Chocomog, cast two. And uh, hello, the Brodos there for joining us. Thank you. And yes, obviously, TCG on a Saturday is lovely, isn't it? It's, it's actually lovely and sunny in Cardiff as well, so what a day for it. Um, okay, uh, going into class something Moogle, the one that goes ice into wind, just to get those colours online. And then again, another great target for Chocomog in Dan Preston's deck. I think we're sitting on a clutch of four in hand. Yeah, I, I probably worth get. Yeah, okay. So we're going lock into the Moogle just to get colours ready for next turn. Hopefully, build up because we know Sammy is playing a bit slowly at the moment, having to have paid five for Tyro turn one. Yeah, and he's again or six, I should say. Potentially, probably uh, we think here yeah, Cecil into the wall is probably the right uh, right play for him, and Dan's probably expecting it too now. So. Uh, pretty sure he's going to be happy just to, to build some backups and just take one point of damage is fine. Yeah. He uh, might have, he might have the bash in hand, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's only running the one. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? So, uh, okay, oh. we're going as a Dane to Now one. that's just cruel. Okay. Dor oh, and there's a Sid in there as well. Dorgan, Sid Hayes, and Bounce Chocobo. So let's see now. Who do you think would be the best one to pick here, Fish? Probably go straight for the Sid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the one that does the most in this matchup, I think. Yeah, so we get the draw, and here we go. So, and here's an, a Zidane on the yeah. other side Zidane as well. Yeah, on Zidane violence, I'm afraid, is the name and of the game. It's a lock, oh my god. Press and getting picked apart real early here. So, I mean, I think that was his second and final lock, or um, are we at three? Don't we are at three. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so there is still another one to choose from. It's going to be hard to keep that sort of looping if that's his major game plan, but we do know the press and can win with this deck without the lock. So That's right. I mean, it's a very nice thing to have, and obviously an auto-include, but uh, we'll just see what goes on here. Yeah. In the meantime, though, Sammy Nas just finishing the turn with a King Tycoon. Yeah, getting those backups down, getting some more options. I think he shirts into Leno, which is, again, yet another nice choice. Now, uh, pressing now, waiting need, for the chance to cut. Yeah, needs needs to uh, do something just to stem the tide here a bit. So, I mean, that, get that sedate off the field, because otherwise your next few turns are just going to be all that much more difficult. Yeah, exactly. And that is what Dan is uh, is trying to work out now, just reading his cards. He does play, I believe, Gacha Messiah. Oh, yes. Um, which is a, a pet card of his that he loves for the Zidane matchups. Uh, the deck is called Gacha Messia <laughs> and 57 other cards. Yep, yeah, that so, sounds good to me. Yeah, exactly. So he could potentially dig with that somehow. Um, maybe he could get it off the Moogle or something like that. Not quite sure. Okay. No, I mean, uh, Dan having a bit of a good old fashioned think now. Okay, we're paying probably nice. Okay, okay so Lulu getting yeah. back a Chocomog. Okay. Sure. So in theory here, we could get another Moogle. 
search for the Gacha Messiah. Mm -hmm. That could be his out to kill the Zanen. Does mean getting rid of quite a lot of his hand, though. That's right. I mean, we do have Evray to reactivate and curve nicely. I mean, uh, let's see what Preston does here. Okay, so we've been a Dorgan. Oh, we are hard casting, overpaying for the. Uh, overpaying for Choco Mark. Okay, no problem. Yeah, and yeah. we're going to get a Moogle 11, which is immediately going to be stacked into yeah. another search. So straight back in, and what do we get here then? Sid Hayes. Okay, so we have cast two cards this turn so far. Yeah. Um, Casting that will be the third. We assume that uh, Zidane's power has been set to 5k, but because it's up to one forward, it is not a mandatory trigger, and if it's missed, it is missed, I'm afraid. Yeah. And okay. with the f now, he's able to curve into this perfectly. There's the Sid. He's now got something that he can play for two cheaper, and he's going to pick the Alexander. So okay. we're, we're on cast four. Yep, draw two cards. And we are going to Dolan Freeze two backups at the beginning of combat. Yeah, now... Oh, no, not sorry, not two backups. We are going to two characters. Yeah. So, and, yeah. And, and for all, your, all you lovely folks at home, there is War and Peace on your screen. The biggest chunk of text I think I've ever seen on a hero. Um, and it is just a great card. Absolutely. Now, that is one way to slow the stem of the tide of the, uh, the Zidane. It doesn't deal with it entirely. So, so now it's just going into Elena... It's comfortable to relax for a turn or two just to build that hand back up, but you cannot leave Ice Wind cooking for too long because you will burn your house down. <laughs> exactly that. Everyone knows what it's like to, you know, what was it, hot fuzz when he goes, uh, died by cooking a tin of beans. <laughs> no one wants that. Happens to the best of us. Okay, so back on Preston now, just mapping out the next million casts <laughs> I mean ideally you want to hit cast 3 every single turn now with Sid Hayes on the field just to keep that pressure going yeah exactly that and if you can poke through then with the Lulu or something like that great but you also don't want to risk running into the experts that's going to hurt your own Sid so, uh, so I'll see I mean I think Preston maybe uh, well, eyeing up his limit break deck I would say probably surges although um I mean, Victoria, he's only Victoria got two. Victoria is, yeah. is, yeah, no, Victoria will answer Zidane quite nicely, I think. You know, that's that's all said and done. Yeah, I think that's our first cast of Victoria this uh, today. Yep. Not sure if uh, it gets to see much play, to be honest, because obviously it is quite... Uh, Sergi's does come out a lot more. Uh, and I mean, just getting that no contest dull anything is quite good. Yeah, exactly so, that. Sammy Nudge being a true gentleman, keeping keeping the cast count for uh, his opponent. To, to be fair, I kind of also have to do that when I'm against Storm because then I just forget and they could tell me they're on like 12 casts and I'd probably agree with them. Well, that's so. right. It is, it's good to know what's coming up and what could be happening. It's, it's very smart for both players to be on top of that. Yeah. And what's really nice as well for Storm here is obviously getting the cast off of the LB cards. Um, so that's right yeah so now here comes Sergi's no effect no because uh, we're just going for the forwards I think that Dan is just preparing to see some sort of uh, okay so cast three Luso draw a card we're now going to dull and freeze two backups yep yeah we just we just had to take the sort of longer way around to getting the uh, getting the damage in and hitting the Amaterasu there was oh, really nice good. Oh, oh, and another wow. one, as if one wasn't enough. Oh, I think this game has now entirely swung on its head. Dan in firm control. And there's another one of his sort of pet cards at the moment. It's uh, Semi Laboko, I believe if it's called. Uh, or something, yeah. something like that. Lako Haboko, <laughs> I want to say. Yeah. I uh, was Semi right then. Oh, love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's going so, on here? Oh, he. Uh, I'm guessing that Sergis has a mandatory trigger. Yeah, it looks like it is mandatory, which is... Uh, yes, select one of the two, and you must dull a forward, or you yeah. must freeze a forward. So, so he's probably chosen Luso to freeze, which, uh, which like would have come down afterwards, actually. But uh, I, think he, I think he chose just to dull the Victoria instead. Yeah. But... I mean, you could have selected Freeze. They don't. Uh, he won an attack in this turn, and it still would have been active. But probably. Okay. So we're going to go Cecil. Cecil. I should probably update some damage, right? Oh my uh, god! And Cecil flicking the Sam Shantoko off. Oh. Uh, that is the 
Is oh it? no, there are two copies in the main deck yeah. of the 70 p so there is still time. Yeah. Dan Toto really needs to come down soon though. Sammy Naj in real trouble here. Dan playing like a man possessed. He wants that Mist Dragon. Yeah. And it's crazy because he's un doing all of this on two backups. Two's plenty apparently. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's all well and good saying that you're a control deck, but if you, you know, only need two backups. Okay, now we're curving into a third. Yeah. Cast mm -hmm. one. Can he get to three again? Because if he can freeze out some of those backups again, it could be really nice. Every reactivate. Cast two. Citra. Oh, oh wow. Okay. And we're just okay. going to double check what's gone already to make sure that we don't. I mean, he has. And of course, we're paying the kick cost for Citra. Yeah. Has the absolute five. run of the deck here. What do you, what do you pick? So this would be cast uh, what, two, two and then and the summon three. Is three. So, yeah. Alexander's probably not the best choice, but oh, we're uh, going to go Gash with Gash Messier. So Gash Messier cast for free. We are going to form change that Cecil into another one. I mean, just force the issue, I suppose. Yeah, I the, believe it's this Gash Messier, right? Uh, the one and only. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. can he play anything off of that Cecil though? I mean, a four-color Warrior of Light from hand with Cecil would be nice. But, the, uh, the issue is though now is that we don't have two CP to uh, pay for tags in that set. So. No, but um, I mean, we do have a number of high power forwards that could just potentially push over the edge. Problem being though, is that we uh, we don't get the dome freezes from the uh, the Sid Randell here. Uh, no. Sid uh, Ace. Yes, thank you. Um, now it looks like Sammy is dead in hand. Obviously, nothing to play off of the uh, of the Cecil, which is kind of sad. I mean, it's not. Uh, you can't pay, so he, yeah, he's just he can't pay. He's going to remember his triggers anyway, just for good, good, good thing to get in. Yeah. Oh, and we are going to party attack in with those uh, two win cards. I'm sure, why not? I mean, you might as well, right? Um, How long? Oh, okay. This is slightly riskier again. And he's just taking it. Very interesting to see if there would be a follow-up to that. I think the Fiend might be kind of too slow these days, but... Oh, okay. Uh, um, and I don't know if this is a good shout, because we're going to get rid of Acid Haze, but in theory, he could play another one. That's right. Sammy just needs to top deck a Shantoto now, otherwise I'm pretty sure it's game over. Yeah, exactly that. Um, and I don't... I, Actually, don't think he can by the looks of things, so he's thinking of maybe the LB one. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he does have uh, Tyro on board. He can't, means... he can't pay for it, though. Unless he ha Yeah, no, he can't pay for it. No, that's right. He would need... Oh, well, I swear, unless he's got three Earth cards in hand, he can't pay for it. That's right, yeah. yeah. So it does it does have to be exact. Yeah, because uh... you need to pay the four and then five Earth, and mm -hmm. that is a killer. Catches a lot of people out. We had uh, Liam on stream almost falling victim to that, but Paul McAvoy, being the gentleman that he is, did let him correct that. Absolutely. Payment. Yeah. So, uh, Sammy Naz needs to come up with some sort of answers here. Um, and the, the, the thing as well you've got is that Citra and Lulu on the board together could make for some real interesting plays. Yeah, if you definitely. Stack, stack those triggers correctly. Not only can you minus five, but then they get the minus two on, or set Become to five. Become five, yeah, minus two. Minus two from there. Not so, blocking much with 3K. No, exactly I mean, that. Even a Leo is a positive trade for the other person at that point. Yeah. Okay, so Sammy now is just thinking these things through. But I'm, I'm still thinking, like, it's a bit crazy how Sammy took the block with the Cecil. Because that Cecil could be quite impactful going into the, the, the next couple of turns. So, I mean, from the next turn onwards, though, Preston will have the resources to pay. Yeah, you're not wrong. Cecil. Yeah, you are not wrong there, to be honest. Now, we have lost two Sid Hazes on Dan's side. Mm -hmm. If he hits a third, I mean, that could be huge. Absolutely. Uh, it's very much Preston's game right now, I think. It's uh, Sammy just being very thorough, making sure to check each and every option, yeah. all available zones. I think he's just. Uh, I think he's just searching for an out that he's not going to get, sadly. Mm. Um, but he is looking at a Cecil there on top. Okay. What's he thinking? Um. What are you thinking, Sammy? I mean, and if all else fails, Dan Preston probably does have an an ace for a five 
okay board wipe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> could 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 do something, but uh, I doubt it. Looks like he might be now thinking back into the LB deck. Okay, so going Surges. No, we're not going no, Surges. We're just showing him that it's in the LB deck. Yeah, thank you for the information there. He's going for Victora now instead. Victora because of the empty hand. Yeah, I mean it is a kill and a block. I'm gonna drop the surges. You drop the total, yeah, because now it's no longer needed. Always the first limit break card you flip over, right? Unless you're a baller and forget. But again, we're gonna have to pay for it, and we're gonna kill the other Victor. I'm not sure this is a smart idea, though. So oh yeah, it would. Uh, if you've got no cards in hand, actually, it's 10k as well. So no, you can't do anything about that. So, uh, not quite sure why Dan Party attacked then at last turn. He, uh, so, I, I think I missed that. How did uh, Victoria deal enough to kill Citra? Is it uh, just 9k? I don't believe she is. Oh, okay, that might be why then. Uh, if Citra's 7k, then I... She there is, we yeah. go, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Still though, Dan Preston, possibly on the verge of winning here. Sorry, you did can he do anything here? Like, what, what could be in his LB deck that could be impactful? Nothing that he can play, right? Nothing right now. I mean, um, a cloud would be nice if the lightning CP was available to him, which it isn't. No. He does run the two CPs a day, which does open him up to the potential of playing pretty much anything. Uh, we are just going to cycle two tokens on Chocolade with the help of Evry, yeah. just to give him future options later down the line. If he can try and get rid of those cards from his hand, he may not be able to get to like any sort of meaningful amount of casts, mm. but at least Victoria then will be 10k against the 7. But we're just going to try and trade. We're just going to try and push through now. Yeah. Okay, um, so oh, when he hits a Lena on the expert. Hits a Lena on the expert to draw. But he is on damage 6, and he has to block this party. Unless something is done here... Sammy Naz looking at the loss. Oh man, so so something smells good. Is it just mm -hmm. me? It smells like pizza around here. It's not fixed. Oh, well, it's not me then if it smells good. But <laughs> hey, there we go. Well, we haven't had lunch yet, but uh, okay. So we're just gonna pass into main phase two and go in with the Rosa. Um, to be yeah. honest, I think we probably could have forced that issue there, Preston. Well, but I, I'm just thinking why he didn't just swing with Sergis. He has to have blocked with the other Surges and yeah, then swing for game. Yeah, maybe exactly. there's something that we're not quite picking up on. Wouldn't be the first time. But again, though, Dan, very confident in this deck, and he's already survived skipping out on one Shantato. But the you know, the more turns you give Sammy Naz, the more likely he is to dig to a se second. Excuse me. Yeah, Sammy Naz having options. But it does look like, unfortunately, he hasn't pulled it again. No, Shantado would be the answer here. And that would do an awful lot in getting Sammy back into this game. Uh, in the meantime, while Sammy Nice is speaking, uh, Alternus, so if you're after singles, Card Cavern, Magic Market, things like that. But if you're after packs or, uh, boxes. or boxes, visit our affiliate link. Uh, via can we cack to us uh, for Firestorm Games because you will be helping the channel out. Okay, uh, Sammy Naj coming in now with uh, Cecil into free play Warrior of Light. And now I think Sa uh, Preston might be in a spot of bother here because yes, he can take the damage, but that Cecil, uh, sorry, that uh, that Warrior of Light can stall pretty big here. And that's right, and he's threatening to snipe away either uh, Luso or Lulu. Yeah. Um, if there is going to be a bounce of a chocobo it... now I agree with uh, Paul from RIT there yes absolutely I think he, Preston sadly did miss game right. I think he could have forced the trade with the uh, with so the just... surges and then just you know you've got two extra attackers with both Lulu and the Luso there but we're going semi uh, sorry uh, we're going the new Leka Haboka no 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 amigo. Uh, non -amigo. oh god you 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 think like no cards by this point, um, so we're gonna go steal him by the looks of things. It's a lovely full out as well, I will say. I'm pretty sure there is as oh there's a Zidane. Yeah, no. I think he's like well you got the choice to play either a summon. Oh, 
So he's targeted the Zidane, and we're going to Kusif on the stack. Very nicely played there, Sammy. Yeah. Nice kind of play there. I mean, still got a big wall to deal with, which is... Uh, yeah, exactly. I I think now Dan Preston is in trouble here because mm. he's still not got a... He's going up against a first striker. Yeah, Preston, yeah. I mean, what, what are you doing? What, what good is that? I mean, um, yeah, he's just Maybe realized. he just wants to clear the way for another surge just later. Uh, I think that was the Victoria, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah no, you're right. Yeah, no, I... No, I think he's going to have to pass turn here. He's got a bit of time, though. He is still only on damage, too. And Sammy missing the opportunity there to snipe away something for 5k at the end of turn because Wall's already done the, its thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think Preston, uh, Preston kicking himself slightly, but he's still in quite good stead at the moment. So the game is slowly swinging more into Sammy's favour now with uh, you know yeah. okay limit brick cloud I'm very surprised he didn't play the Zidane here mm, that's true because I mean, he can and that's even more pressure than going back against Dan and you can start controlling the hand that's right I mean Dan's hand is all on the field but there are maybe one or two cards he wants to hold on to so yeah we'll go with uh, cloud if he tries to target the Rosa here, though, this this could be pretty big, depending on what's in Dan's hand. So let's just run through our potential targets. We've got Rosa, Lulu, and Lusso. Or Surges. And if you kill the Surges, though, that, oh, will, be surges, yeah. that will be a mistake, though. Yeah, we don't, we don't do those. Yeah, we just have happy little accidents around here. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we yeah, are killing the Lulu. Lulu. Makes sense. You know, if there was a way to uh, make Warrior of Lights power 5k, not anymore there isn't. No, exactly. Oh, but oh, we do okay. hit any experts on damage 3. It is the Chocobo. The Chocobo and our final copy of Lock. Now, so, the, prob the problem is he does know that he has Zidane in hand, and mm -hmm. uh, Sammy Nash has just gotten rid of Edgar, so he cannot play it for free. So, hoping that he doesn't have additional Fire CP in hand, Dan goes with the lock. Yeah, this is very brave. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate it though. I really do not hear. Uh, Sammy Naz going in with another attack on the Victoria. Shaking Victoria. Now, it, unfortunately, I'm missing out on a few summons here. Going yeah. back to Dan's hand, but we are facing three blockers. One of them is Warrior of Light, Cecil, and Cloud. The issue is we've got to get rid of that Cecil, otherwise we're going to be forking up two every time we target so that's right i mean it's uh could very well be done still for dan but it's a much harder hill to climb now yeah that's uh if, if preston loses this game he is definitely going to be kicking himself because uh i think he pretty much had it in the bag there I, a few i'm turns pretty sure back. he could have just won on yeah. the previous turn but it's unfortunate Oh, we missed uh, uh, Leonard draw. Well, yes, uh, we do. Yeah, sorry, we are right. We're just sending Paul over now. Thank you there for catching that there. Um, so I told, See, funny enough, I mentioned this in game one. Sadly, everyone missed it because in the back line, it's hard to remember that it is not a May. You must draw a card there. So uh, that... Not sure if there's going to be a warning t to any of them, but uh, I think we... We have... Uh, table judge Paul McAvoy yeah. and Gareth Burton there so we'll leave it at that though from our side of things now but that is uh, slowly feels like a slipping away from Preston now he is trying to math he, if he can if he can hit this lock though and still be able to pay for the target on the Cecil just to dull freeze the, the wall okay so cast one Riku here we board go. has returned to its same state. Count, count along with us when you're at home. <laughs> oh, getting awful noisy up in here all of a sudden. That's right. Uh, so we're going to activate the two backups. Um, then we're going to Azura, cast two, to get a Moogle Mo 11. We're going to get the Moogle. We're going to get the Moogle. So lock now costs four, right? Uh, currently four, yeah. So if we... 
Moogle into the last Sid Hayes. Can we play it? It's can we play it plus can we afford to pay the Cecil tax as well? That yeah. is, is going to be a big factor. That is pretty massive. Because we just need to get the wall out of the way and mm. I think we're fine. You just need to... to well, no, I don't. Actually, I don't think he is fine. His things are all kind of small. Mm. The old, you know, 10, uh, 10k first strike warrior of light is really huge mountain yeah. to climb. I keep saying huge hill to climb, huge mountain to climb. Bloody, That's my phrase of the day. It bloody feels like it though when he's <laughs> 10k first strike tap for five. Mm. So, uh, so never, you never count Preston out though because he always seems to have every line of text available to him in his short term memory. So we're just going through all of these options now. And we are just ticking down to four minutes left on the, the round clock as well, guys. And I believe there's only a few games that have, uh, have yet to finish yet, and this is one of them. Yeah. So this is quite an important round for a lot of people now. A lot of people aware of the fact that there's, um, you know, most people, uh, well, there are 20 Mist Dragons on offer, which is the thing people are after. So they kind of really want to make sure that they get those three wins, two losses. There will be a few people on two wins, three losses, that get the Mist Dragon, but it's a much, uh, no, much I, lower I, chance with tiebreakers. I don't even think so. I think we're just only going to see X2s in that top cut. Okay. At the very, like, just based on uh, tiebreaker amounts. Mm, so it's true. It's but true. we shall see. Obviously, we'll try and give you the rundown of who makes top cut before they do. I mean, this is all assuming that there are no double loss draws to skew everything. Well, I mean, there, there, yeah. was, there was one with Taylor earlier in his very first game, but I doubt that's going to count because he's lost all three games so far. So. Damn, Preston, I'm to really mess this up. So we're through. on cast two, though, right? Yeah, cast two currently. So Riku and Azura. Has he got another Azura in deck? Uh, let's have a look. See, because I want to say that we've seen we've seen at least one. Yep. So there are three Azura to choose from. Yeah. So uh, looks like we've gone for Chocolate. Okay. So oh, sorry. Um, Izana. Yep. So we still got an every reactivation. Oh, Rosa. Yeah, this is Rosa cast three. three. Yeah, okay, so we could lock here. And still pay for it. We could have we could have the outs. Oh, what do you what do you get and what do you throw? It's okay. the chocobo. It's bounce bow. Okay, so this could be interesting. We could be trying to get up to that elusive seven cast turn. I really don't think it's possible no, though. No, I'm not seeing it myself. This is uh, this is something we're missing. I think you just need to now play the chocobo, uh, sorry, play the lock and pay the two to tag it down because I think the lock is your win here. Mm -hmm. uh, Solo Synthesis saying that unless Sammy has an answer, there is win on board. But there is that lock. So, lock coming in, select two of the following four. It's going to be your opponent discards and your doll freeze two. Remember, Cecil's wording says that you only have to pay once per effect, so... So, we're gonna dull freeze, I think, here, both the Cecil and the wall, I think would be important. So, where was the Cecil payment there? Uh, I think it's because he's discarded... With yeah, the he discarded chocobo. the Chocobo from hand, though. I assume that wasn't a cast. Oh, no, unless we're going on stack, we're... Okay, so we're gonna on stack. We're gonna cast the chocobo, target the Riku, hit the Rosa trigger, see if that gives us anything before paying the two, because he's gonna draw off the chocobo. So it is nothing, but it is an Azura that comes to hand. The Azura comes to hand. Now he needs to pay two for the Cecil. Uh oh, it looks like Sammy might have. Nothing because. Come on, just dull freeze some forwards down. There you go. Yeah, there Let's we pay go. The two. So we're going to snipe something for 5k on the way out. Uh, I'm not sure how much difference this will make, but. Well, if you kill the Luso. Yeah, you kill the Luso. 
Yeah. Uh, where is the other Dolphy's target? There you go. Yeah. So now you party attack with the the Rosa and the Nanamigo. He has to block. Surges goes in for the win. Whoa. Oh. I think I just aged another 70 yeah, years. Absolutely. Wow, what a game. Well done there by Dan Preston. Found it in the end. So oh, let's get him on for a very quick chat. Yeah, because we are at the end of turn. But guys, we'll do a quick be right back while we get Preston over. Oh, and there he is. The winner of round four, Mr. Dan Preston. What a roller coaster. You made us age a lot. You made it yeah, hard work oh, for yourself man. as well. I did, I did feel bad and like... Um, we got told afterwards that it was almost called for slow play on that one search um, but it was because I was trying to count to the eight cast Luso and also if I could get it back because being locked on three backups I was like I need the ice win for the lot but if I can't do that and then trying to bait out an Ami at the same time um, so yeah it did take me a long time to try and search that loop um, but and I kind of run out of attack pieces as you guys seen like the Gacha Messiah, the Nana um, and well, stuff like that. The irony being is that you could have won that game like two turns earlier. Yeah, I did get told. Um, it's because of the first strike threw me. Um, so with a warrior of like first strike and then me not having two cards in hand or more, or more than two cards in hand, sorry. It was um, 10k, so I was like, well, he can just double block because I'm all weenie. Um, oh, no, I mean, even before that. Uh, when he had surges left on board on its own, if you just clash with your surges, you still had Lucio and Lulu to attack. Oh, yeah, fair. Oh. No, but still, I mean, you got there. You yeah, did yeah. it. Um, again, we know uh, Gatcha Messier is kind of your pet card. Nan Amigo as well. That's a new one for you, right? <laughs> Funny story. Um, so I was driving in um, today, and because I started running Citra, I was going to drop the Neo X staff, because obviously I was running Neo X staff, uh, so I didn't want that to conflict. Um, so I was going to put Bismarck back in, because my Leko or Boko, we didn't get to see it, because obviously I had to bin it then. But my Leko can then put Bismarck to the field so my Lulu can set to 5k Citra reduced by 2 and then I'm thinking about running the Pinello back up at damage 3 does a 1000 to all because that along with Bismarck is essentially a plink board wipe for when I can't get to the 8 cast Lusos uh, I got here opened my folder and realised I had brought my Opus 21-22 and not my trade folder and was like boys I haven't got Bismarck so I quickly went through Opus 22 to be like come on there's got to be a bit of Preston flavouring here somewhere and I was like Oh, I'll just steal people's polyms or params or mist dragons armies. I won't run my own. I'll just steal other people's. Who um, needs summons when you steal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, I don't need a deck with an army on, uh, or a mist dragon. I'll just steal other people's. So it originally went in there for um, mist dragons and armies, and I found out that uh, Sammy was playing Pollen param when he was talking to me earlier, and I was like, I really hope I go against you, just so I can steal one of your two cost cards and win the game for it. So there was that kind of golden moment where I could S effect, search for it, and was like, sorry, Sammy. And then he cues it. And yeah, I was like, yeah, that was a great right, play fair. from Sammy. Oh, yeah, 100%, that, was, that was a 100%. really sharp thing. I mean, it flew right over my head, at least, anyway. Yeah. So low bar, but here we go. So any changes to the deck you're thinking, or is it kind of set in stone? Oh, no, 100% not. <laughs> um, it was very much a, I borrowed a deck Thursday to try and play this current meta and this current format. Uh, I didn't get on with it in my own personal. I just struggled to pilot those things. Um, and then it was like, well, the only deck I've got, I'd rather go in with a deck that's not tier zero that I'm confident with. I know the card counts, I know the searches, and when I'm running low and how many I've got left in a deck, so I can calculate all those things, then go with a tier one deck that I go, oh, EX burst, oh, failed to find, oh, spend all my resources on this. I've run out of them, um, and I just find that I'll do a lot better and I'll, I prefer to do that. So I just went with the safe play of playing Ice Windstorm uh, today, as much as I didn't storm. <laughs> um, but there are cards that I've looked at, kind of like Bismarck. Um, I'm toying around with the new Lulu uh, to do like a Lightning Winged um, Storm, uh, which will ru run with Valifor, Diablos, and Lulu. So then I can essentially set the board to 4K with Diablos, 3K with the um, Valifor, and then. Two K Citras and the damage with the Lulu to just finish things off that with like Galaf buff in um, and then try and stack on the Yuzuki. I'm still not totally against the old Shinro as much as I get told it's not worth it. Obviously Giga Wall has got more of a turnout today than we thought. So with it all three costs, that five cost Shinru I think might have a place in A deck. Yeah. So um, any uh, what's your score now? Are you uh, X and one or No, I'm Oh no, yeah, I am X and one. Yeah, sorry, yeah, no, I am. I'm three and one. Well one. Um, so you're on for potential top cut, yeah? Yeah, which isn't something I was expecting. I'll be totally honest. Like I said, I went with the safe bet of Icewind Storm just because I enjoy the deck. 
Um, and yeah, no, it turns out that it's still relevant. Well, on that bombshell, we're going to leave you with a good luck for the rest of your games, Dan. Thank and we'll much. be back very soon with our final round of Swiss. Stay tuned.